anyone that has, or anyone that has sons or daughters and understands the test that they go through, it's impossible to fathom. The, the difficulties that they, and if you look at anyone that deals, if you look, it goes, it boils down to one thing, the phone. The phone is the source of every test, of every challenge, of every exposure. And we need to understand the language that these kids speak and why maybe we can understand why Torah edit time is so big. Numbers beyond, with Siata Deshmaya, beyond what we can comprehend. Why? The Pasukah Kohelet says, Gam Lukim. Hashem said, I made this and I made that as well. The Gemara Chagiga says, Every power has a counterpart. Every bad power. Hashem says, I made Rishaim, I made Tzadikim. I made Gan Eden, there's a Gehenam. There's every good has a bad. In the same language, the Gros says, there's Avodah Zarah, there's Nevi'im. And the Gros says, you know when Navi stopped? When Avodah Zarah stopped. It's Ilumadzeh. One is against the other. And we have to realize, that if the world was created with a power, a power of Ra, that by a touch of the button, a kid could reach the lowest levels, so counter to that, it has to be that there's an idea that at a touch of a button, a kid could reach the highest levels. If it could be that we're living in a world where by the touch of a button, a kid could be exposed to relationships, to people of the lowest of society, then Hashem has to create that power the opposite. That by the touch of a button, Hashem will expose him to the people of the highest element of society. So Torah any time is not, is the al the cow that Hashem gave us the ability. That we're able to counter that, that force. There's no other language they speak. There's no other way that it could get to them. The boys and girls of our community, I mean, there's a, and of course, they deal, when you're dealing with 10 million hours, you're dealing with a lot of spectrums of the Jewish population, as the Russian Shiva spoke about. But in order to speak to the kids, you know, I was talking to one of the boys, and it's an amazing thing. Tony Time is a household name. He was talking to me about a low time in his life. He was talking about a 19-year-old kid, and these are the boys that we're talking about. And he was talking about, you know, it was not, and it wasn't, this wasn't the point. He wasn't average, he wasn't promoting Tony Time. He was just talking to me. He goes, you know, when I was, when I was down, I was feeling out of it, and feeling out in the learning, and feeling a lot of pressure and not to be religious. You know, so I would just go to Torah anytime and listen to the and I would write notes on it. And, and I'm like, wait, wait. And this is when the rabbi called me to speak here. And I said, so I'm, I'm very sensitive to Torah anytime stories. And I, and it just hit me like, I wouldn't have noticed it, but he just mentioned Torah anytime. I'm like, it's an auto. Like, that's my go-to. Yeah, I have my phone. That's my auto. I don't think we realize how necessary that is. There's no other way to speak to these boys. There's no other way to speak to these girls. You know, these kids, you ask them how many hours of screen time they have. It's an amazing thing. It's five to seven hours. And by the way, they're in school all day. So when, when, are, they, when are they doing this? How are we talking to them? How are we reaching them? And if we don't reach them, it's just going to go further and further. So, Zeb, Gan Zeluumatze. Hashem creates one power. He creates one force. And that force has that power to bring down. He must create the same power with the same energy and the same force to bring up. In the same vehicle. And Torah and Itam, that's why the Zuchud is there. Of course, 10 million hours of Torah, 150,000, all these numbers in any generation would be amazing. But in our generation, it's the only way for many of them to be spoken to. Because of the device that they're holding that they won't let go of, they need the same force in that device to do good. 